Hi, my name is Darcy Widener, and I'm the Information Systems Manager for Rantoul City Schools. Today I'm going to show you how to register your new student online in Skyward. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the rcs137.org website. Um, you can see here on my computer I'm already here. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down to Registration and New Student. Once you click that button, you will, it will take you to a page here for registration. The first section is for new students. Um, so this would include kindergartners that are brand new to our district um, that did not attend our pre-K program this past school year, or any students that are K through eight that did not uh, attend Rantoul City Schools for the 1920 school year. Um, there is a slight difference if you have a pre-K student that you're wanting to register, a brand new pre-K student. Um, they must be screened first before proceeding with online registration. So we are requesting that parents click on this Google form here. Um, you can put in your contact information and then a member of our pre-K staff will contact you um, to get you all set up for registration. But back to new students, um, kindergarten or K through eight that are brand new, um, we are going to click here for Skyward. And the first thing that you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna put in an account request and anything that has a star or an asterisk next to it is a required field. So if you don't put everything in, it will bark at you and uh, won't let you proceed. So anytime you're in the Skyward system, you will see these asterisks and just know that that means that those are required fields. So I'm going to put in my information and we will go from here. Okay, so I have put in my information and my phone number. I'm going to click here for account request. And this just basically says it's going to send me an email um, once the request is approved. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And it's just basically telling me to go to my email and it, there will be further instructions. So I'm going to pop over here to my email and I do see that it emailed me. Um, it says, thank you for your request to enroll your student. You may now log into the system. It provides me with my login information and my password. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on this link use that login and password to get logged into the system. So I'm going to use that. Okay, so now that I've logged into the system, this is the application that must be filled out. And again, like I told you on the previous screen, anything that you see with this red asterisk or this red star is a required field. So you'll want to make sure that you fill that out um, so the system um, will let you proceed. So I'm just gonna start typing in my information for my child. Now here, when you get to middle name, if your child does not have a middle name, it's going to require you to type in the word none. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. I'm going to skip these two fields because they're not required. I'm going to fill this in. Okay, that is a required field, so I'm going to put in Pain. I'll go ahead and put in Illinois. I'm going to go ahead and put in United States. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in race. Um, And then you just keep going and you fill out each of these form or each of these um, fields 
with your information. A lot of them have drop down boxes next to them to where you can click and like on the language you can click and you can um, find quite a few languages on here. There's Spanish, um, English. So I filled these out. This is, a, even though it doesn't have an asterisk here, it is a required field for you to read. Um, you would only check this if you, if you're, um, if the parent or guardian is a full-time member of the military. So I am not, so I'm going to skip that. Has your child attended a school previously in Illinois? I'm going to go ahead and say yes. And I'm going to put in um, the school um, district that they attended previously. Actually, this is, yeah, previous school district. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. Um, now when I get here to you are enrolling your student into the next school year, 2021, um, I'm going to have my kids start on the first day of school. So I'm just going to click that. And the grade that they're going into is second. And here you're going to drop down. You can either pick the school that you're registering. If you know which school you're registering for, you can choose that school. If you're not sure, you can click on this link right here. You can type in your address. So you can click on this little magnifying glass, type in your address. And once you click on that, it will show you You can, I'm just kind of scrolling out. It shows me that my school, yellow is Northview. Um, so if you need to know what the colors are, uh, this pink color is Broadmeadow, yellow is Northview, blue is East Lawn, and green is Pleasant Acres. So I see that my child would fall into the Northview category. So I will go back to my registration um, and I'm going to go ahead and put in Northview as my school. Um, you can put additional notes in here, you don't have to. And then I want to com complete step one and move to step two. So I'm going to complete that information. Um, I'm going to have, I'm gonna type in my information here. So I'm gonna put in my phone number, my address, um, and then it's gonna ask for my information again. It's going to want you to fill in everything that has an asterisk next to it. So I'm going to put mother and I've got my phone numbers in there, my contact email address. So yes, all of this looks good. What it's asking me now is do I want to add another legal guardian who lives at this address or no other legal guardians live at this address. So it's just me and my child. So I'm going to put no other um, guardians live at this address. And I'm going to say that I want to complete step two and move on to step three. So I'm going to click that. Oh, and it just told me that I missed something, which I did. So I remember I told you we got to fill out all of these asterisk forms. So we are going to, does this guardian have custody of the child? Yes. Is the guardian allowed to pick up the child from school? Yes. Okay, so let's try it again. I'm going to complete step two and move on to step three. Okay, good. Um, it let me move on. So here it's asking you if your child has any allergies or medical conditions. And if they don't have any, you can just enter none. And so my child has none. And is this a critical condition? No. Um, you can put in your physician and your dentist and your hospital. But again, they don't have an asterisk next to them, so it's not a required field. You can move past this if you like. You don't have to fill this in. Um, I am not going to fill it in, so I'm just going to click uh, complete step three and move to step four. So 
this next step is for emergency contact information. Um, right now, I had already checked for it to list me as an emergency contact. If you want to add other people, you can go ahead and click yes, I want to add another emergency contact. So if you do that, then you can go ahead and put in that information. Again, making sure that you fill out every piece that is required and relationship okay so I'm com I'm done now so I want to move on to the next step so I'm going to say complete step four and move to step five so here we can upload our required documents that we need so if you can take a picture on your phone and upload it here, or if you can take a picture, save it to your computer, and then upload the information, this is going to save you having to come into the school to bring your information. So I'm going to, um, I went ahead and saved my child's birth certificate, my photo ID, and my proof of residency on my computer. So I'm going to upload those things to Skyward. So first I'm going to hit choose file. I made a registration file on my computer. Here is the birth certificate that I want to upload. And then I'm going to click down here for my photo ID. And here's my photo ID that I made. I'm going to do that. And then here's my proof of residency. So I've got a lease. I'm just going to click it, hit open, and it has put all those files in for me now. So now I'm going to complete step five and go to step six. I'm going to click on these health forms. And there is a note here at the top that says that um, due to COVID-19, we're unsure at this point of when health forms will be uh, required. They're normally required the first day of school for physicals, um, but we know with doctor's offices being closed that that's probably not a possibility. So I'm sure this will be extended. Um, eye exams are normally due October 15th and dental exams are usually due May 15th. And here, if you needed a copy of a physical form, you could click here and it would take you to a link where you could print a physical form. So I've read this information. I'm gonna go ahead, I don't need to print it, so I'm just gonna hit save. Now I'm gonna go down to, and you can see once I did that, it put a little check mark here that says this has been completed. So next, I'm gonna to go to the computer use and I'm going to, um, I need to read each of these and um, then I need to say if I accept the conditions. So for computer use, yes, I accept the conditions. For internet use, yes, I accept the conditions. And for the RCS handbook, I realize it's online for me to read, so I'm gonna click yes. Unfortunately, our program, um, <laughs> wouldn't allow us to make it either English or Spanish, so we had to do it both. So you just have to click it in both areas. So you're just gonna keep clicking yes. If you clicked yes before, I'm going to go ahead and put in my signature and today's date. I'm gonna scroll back up and I'm gonna hit save. And you can see again where it has checked this now and says it's been completed. I'm going to click the next one asking me how will my child be getting home every day from school. Um, so I know that my child will be a um, car rider. So I'm going to click walker, no, car rider, yes. And they will be riding with, I'm going to put in the person's name. I'm going to put no for bus rider, no for daycare, and again, I am going to sign my name here at the bottom and put, to, oh, I'm going to put today's date in there, and I'm going to hit save, and I'm going to complete this step. 
And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to, and you can see here where it's got everything has been dated and marked completed. So I'm going to submit the application to the district and it's going to ask me one more time, am I sure I want to do this? And I'm going to say yes, submit the application. And it's been su uh, successfully submitted and it will be reviewed and we, you know, you'll be contacted soon on how to proceed. That is it for my tutorial. Thank you.